been DJing since what? Sixteen? Yeah, probably about fifteen years. Oh, really? It was before I had a license. Fifteen, I would say fourteen, late fourteen, fifteen, no, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You, st- you still, you still around, man. And it's crazy, like, what made you get into it? Uh, well, you know my brother. Uh, shout out DJ Stern. He DJ started Stern, DJing when he was you, uh, when he was like fifteen, probably thirteen, actually. Eighth grade, I remember what I'm saying. Um, you know, it was a way to make some money at the time. I had some a little bit of equipment. You know, I saw a lane. I didn't want to work at the zoo. That's what really motivated yeah. me to get up out of there. The zoo, like, we see them pay seven forty an hour. You know how that go. They're taking out money for the uniform. I'm only working the summer. First check, 60 something dollars. I'm like, I don't work a long week. Like, y'all gave me this, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I need another hustle. Um, couldn't sell no candy, wasn't in school. You know, I just wanted something I could do, you know, so I learned, spent that summer learning how to DJ, had a couple of parties, mm-hmm. and, uh, but what I really fell in love with was the business side of things, you know, like marketing myself, um, networking, meeting new people, things like that, and just getting my brand out there, mm-hmm. that's what I fell in love with for the most part, you know. Yeah, and that's what I was going to ask you. That carried me, for sure. When, like, that part that you fell in love with, when did that... I know you started DJing at 15, but when did that part start? Like, was that was that right at 15 too, or uh, did it take somewhat, a somewhat? Because I, I immediately I had business cards. I was excited about that. Right. You know, I'm, 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 I'm starting the LLC. <laughs> and I, I made a couple of mistakes, you know, uh, you know, starting my LLC, but you know, the, the mistakes I cherish. Yeah. You know, I never have to do that again. You know, I'm yeah. legal Zoom trying to do whatever. <laughs> you know any and everything but um yeah it was just i had clients i had you know a, a, a steady pace of gigs coming i just you know and i i kept seeing more people getting attracted to me you know and my djing style created my own dj style you know from that you know i was able to just you know just trying to make a process that's repeatable you know what i'm saying something i can go to for this type of party for this type of party mm-hmm. You know, share pointers wherever I can and keep learning from mentors and things like that, you know, so. You, uh, yeah. you travel a lot with the DJing, like. Yeah. Which one of your favorite spots you didn't travel to? Like, some of, you know, some of your, I mean, not even some of your favorite, what is just some of, you know, some of the cool places you've been just to DJ, not just to, like, you know, you go to Miami with the guys. Right, right. No, um, I would have to say the um, Jamaica to DJ on the uh, cruise part time, I would say that was probably the um, the best. Probably uh, that and going to Cleveland for sure, DJing for the uh, Baby Fat Three concert. That's that's crazy. Yeah. I didn't even know about Jamaica. Yeah, that's, 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 that was cool. I was, I was um just after high school. Mm-hmm. So how was the uh, music scene? Did you have to go learn a whole bunch of music? Oh yeah, for sure. Did my research for sure. Did my research, you know. Uh, but yeah, I was that was a, a real good experience just getting uh, getting able to get on the timetables out there. Uh, but Cleveland for sure was uh, it was amazing. Yeah. I had a real good time there. I heard the video. Yeah, yeah. So um, DJing in between um, the sets for uh, Babyface Ray, Nutty, um, GT, Samuel Shabazz. Um, the tour they was just on, and I did the Cleveland show. Shout out my boy DJ Limelight put me on with that. Um, yeah, like I said, networking, connecting, that's my thing. Yeah, that's that's what just, I love yeah. yeah, he said that yeah. earlier, and that's just been through the conversation. Yeah. I've just been seeing how that journey that you really that's been working. Going crazy. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, most definitely. So, like, it's crazy. I knew you started getting so. I knew it started getting. Like, I knew it was on the flow for real. I was in seventh grade. Mm-hmm. One of my uh, classmates, or somebody went to my school. She was handing out flyers at a party. Mm-hmm. I was seeing DJ J Three on the uh, flyer. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, bro, big time. <laughs> it's, it's like that. Yeah. So once I started seeing that, it's like, yeah, I knew you was. I knew you was serious about it, and I knew you was trying to get, get somewhere. Now looking back at it today, you DJing 
you know, outdoor club parties, you know, like you say, you went to Jamaica, you done did so much with it. So like, where is it like, how further did you want to go with it? Or like, you know what I'm um, so, so like I said, you know, at first, um, I, I fell in love with the business side of things, you know what I'm saying? So. I, I always will continue to DJ. It's a hobby, mm-hmm. a passion. I love to do it. You know what I'm saying? Will it be my main business at all times? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? But I'm into investing, you know, mm-hmm. uh, but I'm generating a couple other businesses as we speak. So mm-hmm. it'll always be around. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it, and it's always repeatable clients and stuff. And I love to DJ. It's not hard. It's mm-hmm. easy for me. You just let her feel in the crowd, you know, you get addicted to that a little bit. Really? And that makes it even more sweet. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Really? A while ago, you uh, was talking to me and talking about uh, investing and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. you know, at your age, you know, look like some of these, you know, younger guys need to, you know, that's already, they got different businesses that they already, like you said, generate different businesses. Still to come where they already got a few businesses. You feel me? Mm-hmm. What kind of investment should, you know, we make them out of Nowadays, I, well, I would say one thing, get a skill, you know, knowledge is power. That's the best thing to do. Uh, find something you can do. And it depends on what you want to do, you know what I'm saying, and how your life is set up, too. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's always stocks. It's always real estate. It's always, um, you know, uh, franchises that, you know, don't have a, lar- a huge startup cost, like cleaning companies. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you got things like Airbnb, uh, Turo, a lot of passive income things, you know, and then you got uh, small businesses, which could be anything, you know, that's your hobby, whether you clean gutters or fixing garages, you know, making furniture, you know, really whatever you got time for, but it's a lot of things to invest in. I would just say, make sure you got a slight passion for it, you know, so Mm -hmm. long nights don't seem long. To be honest, yeah. And find a mentor. And I understand, because me personally, I just can't really get get into nothing that I don't love. You know, I really have to love it. Really have to be into it to, you know, put my all into it or necessarily even do it. Right. You know? Right. I definitely feel that. That's right. And speaking of, like, life outside of DJing, so, um, I know you came out of college um, as an engineer manager, and yeah. now you're in the engineering business or engineering field, I'll say. You're working as a, a power system studies consultant now. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm an electrical engineer. Okay. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I work for a company called Brian Caldwell. Okay. Uh, yeah, so. What's that like, man? Uh, it's cool. You know, I travel about 50% of the time. You know, just consulting with clients mm-hmm. all over the um, U.S. about uh, basically their engineering problems, their electrical systems, and, and things like that. So it's pretty cool. It's laid back. The it's a good environment. You know, and that was all the things I was worried about because I haven't really had a job since I was like, well, since the zoo, for real, for real. <laughs> yeah, I've just been doing everything else, but um, I, I like it. But yeah, they still give me time. I'm working from home, so they still give me time to run my businesses, do everything I need to do. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, not having a job. It ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Right. Y'all find something y'all love, man. You know, do it. For yeah. real. You know, and then if it's, you know, you lucky enough for a job, you making money off of you don't even got to worry about the everyday. You feel me? Yeah. You don't mind me, so you got it. Three gigs too. I'm good. Yeah, something like that. So I'm just trying to get everything moving on all angles, really. Like you know, even more. So how's the? Um, I know you, you mentioned going out of town fifty percent of the time. And yeah. I know you. About a couple weeks ago, you went to Nashville. Mm-hmm. Like, what was that like, man? Yeah. Going out there by yourself. It was cool. It was cool because I got to like. You know, meet people, you know, like I'm just tell, you know, just talking to random people, who the drivers, whatever. And they just kept asking me what I was out there for and I kept telling them everybody was just so shocked. The uh <laughs> you know, just so shocked to hear that I was out there for a business trip or whatever, thing I'm going to school or whatever. Yeah, so it was it was good.
good to see that, you know, that people still like, you know, like to hear stuff like that. Yeah, to be honest, in the world we live in. Yeah. 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 But overall I had a good time, like like I said, they, they pay for everything, you know. Can't really beat that. And uh they got me a flight to Houston because I was going to my brother's bachelor party. Um, so on the way back instead of coming to Detroit, I made a flight to Houston. So oh, yeah. you know, Houston. Houston. Can't really beat that. That's sweet. Next time, I'm better gotta wait in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My wife in Vegas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, it's cool. It's laid back. I like it. I like it for sure. Yeah, that's me. I like to work from home for our school. Yeah. That's really good. If I'm out traveling, then when I'm not traveling at home. Yeah. yeah. And you know, you, you don't have to travel, but there's a little sad aspect that you can do. Yeah, I, mean, I definitely want to get out, go, you know, yeah. focus, you know, me and Tarky and Marcy can. Mm-hmm. Every away game, we is going somewhere different. So right, I was going right. places I ain't never been before. Right, right. You know, New Orleans, mm-hmm. uh, uh, I've been to Florida a couple times, but I wasn't going to Jacksonville, Tampa. Right. I wasn't going to those other cities. I was right. going to so yeah, and stuff like that. It's, it's great to get out and see something else for one time. Definitely. I swear you gotta see everything out here. It's a lot of stuff out there. You get so caught up in the city we live in for real. Mm-hmm. It's hard to <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I mean I still get it confused. Like I actually went down you feel me? I went down south to school and I still come back to expecting. Nothing here, not even nothing here. Just like it's, I don't know. It's just like you said. Yeah. Yeah. Like so, were you uh, going to Michigan State? Actually, mm-hmm. going to graduate from Michigan State. You feel me? Respect for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Starting. You feel me? So, uh, like, were you going to Michigan State? Like, were you in a rush, or not necessarily in a rush, but were you trying to get out of town? Uh, sooner than later, or you just it's day by day. Are you talking about after school or like yeah, after, after, uh, after school? Uh, not really. You know, I, I travel all through school, so mm-hmm. I didn't really have a, a big urge to get up out of here. Mm-hmm. You know, I love the city. I love you know where I live, where I stay. It's a lot going on. Mm-hmm. I got a lot going on here. You know, mm-hmm. I'm trying to keep it going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love to travel though, you know, you know that. Um, went to Turks and Pickles last year, my uh, girl. Uh, we're going to Arizona, Tony and Cabo in January. So, you know, lit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just like to this travel, one? just like this. Uh, hmm? 20th of this month? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Jeremy getting married. So, we getting married. Okay. Oh, you know, I said, I'm getting married. I'm like, oh, I'm getting married. No, I did think you said that. No, no, no. Big bro. Big bro. But, um, you mentioned, uh, like three different chicks. You said you and your girl was going on. So, yeah. I'm assuming y'all like traveling together. So, like, oh, yeah. Like after that, to me, mm-hmm. that friendship, I found not worth 
just kind of out the way. And that may be where I'm. Yeah. I'd get messed up at least. Kind of. I can say they call it a girlfriend. You feel me? Yeah, you gotta think about it like that. Like, can you be around this person? You know what I'm saying? And like, have a good time without being sexual. Yeah. Try to make it last longer. For real, and that's what I'm saying. Like, we was friends way before. Like, we we would tell each other, you know, stuff about what we had going on. Like, friend, that type of friends. Like, not thinking about it at all. Right. But it just developed over time. It's crazy, cause like, I swear, yeah. like, my mom, like, I, you know, I be, I'm some good friends, you know, I'm real, you know, I'm not friendly, like, everybody can be my friend, but like, you know, if you cool, mm-hmm. you're my dog, you feel yeah. me, there ain't much to it, I'm a cool cat, yeah. but like, I don't know, sometimes it get a little much when you just, I don't know, what? Talking about old, old shit. I mean, y'all uh, talk about, you know, like you said, not even thinking about it. Right, right. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> All the time, bro. <laughs> That's one thing. And then if I'm not, even if I'm not thinking about it, bro, mm-hmm. it's like, I struggle trying to be like, shit. Like you said, not even thinking about it. Right. I'm friends with certain people, not even thinking about it. I couldn't tell you why. That's my friend. That's, you know, like, yeah, no, nah, I get what you're saying. But, I can't try to be nobody's friend. You feel me? Like, are we gonna try to do this? And, yeah. <laughs> I, I, and I'm not saying it's gonna happen like <laughs> No, of course, of course. I'm just saying like, and I, and I, it ain't even been that bad. Like, more recently I've been learning how to just take them else. Like, you feel me? Everybody say they come back. I mean, that's cat. That's cat. But I mean, but you know, you, you'll give yourself good, uh, you know, high hopes for like, I don't know. I just been, I've been learning to just deal with that a little better. So I'm actually friend friends with a few girls that I just was, you know. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know, I don't I don't talk to people to you know mess around. I talk to people to try to you know get straight to it, mm-hmm. not sexually, but like you know. Yeah. So the fact that I'm still talking to some of those people to this day, I know like you ain't know my type of time, but <laughs> all right. I mean, yeah, you all just right. it's just got to come off the time. Yeah, it's not. It ain't gonna work for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's why you gotta choose the one that's right for you. Yeah. When did you know, like, when did you know, like, you yourself was, you know, ready to take that step forward? Like, you know, because uh, you know, some people may move a little faster than you or be ready before you. Yeah. It's like, you know, I never really, I honestly never had that situation where. I just know, like, this is right. This is the time to do it. Mm-hmm. It's just, you know? Yeah. I, I just kind of flow. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not going to say it was a, a a time every time. Like, you know, like, I, I can't really say that. It, it just kind of felt right. It felt, it did feel right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, and like I said, I was just literally genuinely real friends, you know what I'm saying? Talk every day, you know, type of friends before. So after, you know, just with the extras, it was just like (laughs) (laughs) your friends really see like my mom talking about this like your friends really see like how uh, sometimes like how you you know how you really are for real. Like sometimes you try to like at least to start stuff off, you feel you try to Show somebody like this how I am, but like mm-hmm. I'm trying to prove a little something. You feel me? I want to take this a little further, so I gotta be on my P's too instead of just laying back. Like, you know, like yeah. my friend Juke. You know, I can just be like chopped up about anything. But mm-hmm. for a girl I just met, I might have to. You know, I, it's all I'm gonna be me. I'm gonna make them laugh, do all that. That's the normal. But I'm a little. <laughs> I'm holding my words back. I be talking however. You know, you know me, bro. So I can't do that with everybody, bro. Yeah. No, I feel you, but like I said, like, you know, that's with anybody, though. You're going to be cautious at first, and you build trust, you know what I'm saying? And you go from there, you know, but can y'all keep that conversation going? You know what I'm saying? Do y'all, do you actually want to talk to her? You know, like I said, like, you know, you just got to see how you feel, you know, be an observer of your feelings and not a reactor, you know what I'm saying? So, you see, like, you know, I really enjoy talking to her. I might do that again.
Yeah, I'm not. No, like no real deal. Bro. Like, you feel me? I remember when you was like, uh, you was happy that you had that little boot, that slip up with the Google with the LLC thing. Yeah, yeah. And I, just to compare it to like relationships and stuff, mm -hmm. like literally, maybe past situations I've been in, I'm really happy I'm learning. Maybe not at the time. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? I'm pretty you know, dealing with it at the time, it was awful, you know, I don't really mess with it, but mm -hmm. now looking back at it, I'm happy, at, you feel me, mm -hmm. I went through those things, so I know because literally like the friend stuff you was telling me about, man, one girl I'm crazy about, you feel me, mm -hmm. still kind of in the back of my mind crazy, but like, yeah. I genuinely think this girl is like my friend, mm -hmm. she really wants to be there, so mm -hmm. I gotta respect that because it ain't you feel me? And it, it, it ain't too many genuine people around. Mm, right, right. So, like, I got it, man. It's just like, I'm learning, man. I'm mm -hmm. trying to do better with it. So, like, mm -hmm. pray for me. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Y'all are silly. Pray for me, boy. For sure, for sure. Right. So, what's. I don't want to. I mean, shit. Coach me up for real, but shit. Uh, what's like, man? What's you going on a date, man? What you doing, like, you know? <laughs> like, give me the sauce. Uh, I mean, you know, it depends on what the occasion is. You saying just a little date night? That could that could be a number of things, you know. Like, you gotta know your girl too. You know what I'm saying? If you, and that depends on what y'all feel like doing. You know, is it a going out type of night or laid back chilling mm -hmm. type of night? If you can dress both of those situations up, but uh, really just go somewhere. You know, with some lights. It's a nice setting. Royal up downtown. It's a few places. Pick a nice restaurant. Get a reservation. That's the main thing. Yeah, that reservation might change your life. Yeah. Yeah, really, honestly, it just, you know, yeah, so you like, prepared. Yeah, so you can sure. tell them to do, like, little things like leave flowers on the table or something like that. Most, you know, after, post-COVID, you, you got to go to the right restaurant. So no, no, just the food thing, of course. Yeah. I, I told you my flower situation. I don't know. I mean, I, that's, that kind of scarred me. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of scarred me, so. No, I mean. Chocolates, no, baby. Um, let me think. All right, so. One, one birthday, we went to a, a nice restaurant. I got her name on the menu, like happy birthday camera. I can't remember her name of the restaurant right now. But um, that, you know, gifts and stuff like that. You know, maybe to drive in or something afterwards. You know, look after move. Yeah, it's up to you, you know, maybe a bar. You know, that's always a good one. You know, just y'all two have a good, con a good time, get a drink or something. Yeah, did like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. You know it's crazy. Definitely. Without thinking about it. You know, this one I knew I was maybe taking a few steps to like one that I was I'm not even going to like I see myself like going out with few, you know with people. Mm -hmm. and like, all right. It's either like I'm tired as hell, what we about to do after this or like shit. Like, you know, do you even be here type shit? You know, I'm all in my head, like, but really I I do a lot of work for this without saying that crazy. Speak up hard, too. Yeah, I'm gonna get to get it. I mean, I know we can edit, but like, damn. I don't know what I'm saying. No, that's what I want to say. Damn. Oh, yeah. That's what this girl So I'm trying to do all the. I think I'm trying to do all the right shit. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, let's be. Well, I'm young. <laughs> I was playing it crazy. Mm -hmm. and it, you know, there's a lot going on. Lost my wit in between jobs. So I'm not trying to spin. <laughs> <in the break. laughs> that's, that's the main thing. So maybe I just better at the raw time. <laughs> wasn't trying to spin over bread. But it wasn't even about spinning the bread, bro. I went out that one time. This is after, after a lot of. Shit happened, or like you know, after you kick before a while, mm -hmm. 
Let me just go eat and grab a drink. It was just like, that might have been the best thing. I, and that's what, you know, and that's why I'll be like, you know what I'm saying? You really fuck with us. Fuck with this, this, that. You know, really fuck with us. I hated it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like that. Yeah. But after that, it was just like, you know, I'd probably be your friend. There ain't nothing <laughs> to it. Like, you talk to me. No cap. I know yeah. a whole bunch of more, you know, that don't. Yeah. So it was like, you know, I learned a lot with that situation. Yeah. Just part of you know being a good conversationalist, yeah. you know, making it entertaining for the ladies, you know, catching that vibe, catching that vibe. Yeah, really. You know some some people I don't like talking to, so if I get to talk to them, I'll catch the vibe, but I don't want to just be the nigga to catch the vibe, bro, because I didn't cause, I didn't cause the vibe. No, no, I mean, like, uh, vibe. it's just like, now you was asking me about a good date, I was oh, just saying, oh, like. You know, no, you play. I was just saying, like, you know, just make sure you catch the vibe of the night. Good mm-hmm. conversation, reservation, the after move, mm-hmm. or just somewhere to go. Real deal, bro. We ain't going home, no. <laughs> Figure it out. Ride around. It something. could be home. Take it home. Really? It could be the end of that. <laughs> Sometimes it could be like that. But I'm not gonna lie. The best conversation, the best conversation for me is be when I'm in the car and I know they make sound mm-hmm. cliche or like mm-hmm. redundant. But no, the best, the best conversation be when I'm in the car because I don't really open up to too many people. But when I do, it's like I'm the only one right there. So it's like if you know, <laughs> if you get me there, you, you yeah. feel me. You feel me, man. Yeah, I feel you. Get that can happen. Car conversation was, was crazy. You know who I'm talking about? You watch the video. Would you say something? No, I wouldn't say that. I was. Yeah. Oh yeah, Loki forgot to ask you. Uh, you go know, backtrack to the DJ shit. Mm-hmm. What was the uh, party that you thought like put you on the map for real? Put me on the map. I don't you know. Because like you want to, like as far as the city, you want the city. So, so like, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say um, it was any particular party. Mm-hmm. Just consistency. Real, For real. Real. Like you know, just honestly, every time I do have a party, my name on the flyer. For one, you know, yeah. I take my um. <coughs> Uh, I take my tablecloth with my name on it, you know, mm-hmm. branding, just making sure people know my name, see my face. I go to a party, make sure I get a flick, you know, with some type of branding with it. Mm-hmm. Um, just consistency, making sure I'm networking with other DJs, you know, that they'll throw you gigs, you know, especially coming up and just making sure you actually connect with your client, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, communication with them and just let them know, you know, you're a real person too. You know, let's do this again. But you know, good business always gets you far. So, but um, it, it was some a, a lot of high school parties. You know, just making sure people knew I was the DJ to go to. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Making sure I'm executing every party and making sure I got real good reviews. Mm-hmm. But more importantly, make it look good. You know what I'm saying? Branding wise, and just you know holding myself accountable. You know, and just keep. Pressing. And you mentioned that uh, you mentioned getting being like tapped in with like other DJs. And stuff. Yeah. And I see that you you um have other DJs maybe sometimes even coming with you to uh oh, to yeah. gigs and stuff like that. What's that like? Uh, are they? I know you, cause I see that you have a couple of them man, that you you feel me? Yeah. You have a few of them you can bring. Yeah, with shout you. out uh, DJ Freddie Blaze, DJ Frex. Shout out my boy DJ Freddie Blaze, Blaze, man. Everybody, everybody, man. Uh, we gonna tag all y'all folks. Just, just DJs, DJs who um who I talk to a lot. Mm. Uh, shout out DJ Limelight, DJ Slim, and DJ Dollars. DJs I talk, to, uh, DJ Ray Dig. Mm. Uh, a lot of oh, uh, that I talk to a lot. You know I network. You know if I got I'm double booked or something. 
you know, you gotta have a lot of DJs around, you know, to yeah, make sure, yeah. make sure everything running smoothly. You know, I, I'm always throwing gigs to somebody, you know, I got a lot going on, so that's what I wanna just keep yeah. doing, making sure everybody, you know, got enough equipment or whatever, you yeah. know, help out whenever I can. Uh, but that's the main thing, you know, it's a DJ community for sure. And I'm big on that. A lot of DJs wanna basically like hold information back or not talk to you, you know what I'm saying? Or even give a little advice or just network on the gram, you know, that yeah. like they have a, a, a certain type of ego. And that's cool, you know what I'm saying? But I just, you know, make sure I, cause I felt that energy before, you know, from older DJs. But I just wanna make sure, you know, that the younger DJs coming up who I interact with, you know, I'm ready to work. That's all I'm about, mm -hmm. you know. Let's do good work. Let's have fun, you know what I'm saying? Network, whatever. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, but, yeah. You was, um, you had any parties that was just like, like crazy that had you wake up the next morning, like, bro, that was probably my wildest party. That was, you know, <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 a lot of them, for sure. Uh, man, uh, it's so many. Like, you know, I think I'm gonna be two, three times a week for some years now, so. Um, I would say, like, the parties I threw at State, I love those parties, because that was me putting in my whole effort, you know, for, you know, to make something come alive. You had a vision. And, and it was away from home, you know, it was at a state and I was still younger. So I was proud of myself for that stuff. Um, definitely those. And the income, you know, was crazy oh, too. Yeah. But, um, yeah, building my brand at state helped me a lot. Like, and I always love the spiral parties. It was just a, a vibe you couldn't match, like, because in college, it's a lot of, of things or that hold you back, you know, the 18 plus crowd, uh, not able to find a venue with liquor, or they don't want to do 18 plus, but they'll let 21 in, so then you got a lot of college students that can't come. So finding a venue is probably the toughest thing. But once I found that, I was a DJ, so. I'm locking in. I'm ready to go. Like that's <laughs> but yeah, so it's it's done been some great parties, but then COVID messed up a lot of things. I will say that as far as venues, because you know they thrive on you know, people being there. Oh, yeah. But uh, COVID, yeah, I, I, that was a terrible. You as far to, as that, but you, you know, have to count on it. On your, well, if you had to, if you had to give us a count, how many parties did you do? Well, you know, it was a period nobody was doing parties. You know, our first probably from March to December mm -hmm. in 2020, I believe. And then uh, after that, you know, it was kind of regular that next summer. Mm -hmm. kind of, it like it was the next summer, that's when it started kind of getting back going. That's really what I can remember, but it still wasn't the same, especially at school, because it's a college town. Yeah. It's not meant for, you know, parties all over the place, so, especially venues, how we was trying to do it, you know, 300 plus capacity, um, liquor, and all this stuff, so, you know, a lot of stipulations, but, you know, we got it done. Yeah, it's good. Oh, yeah, that's it. We can do uh -huh. Good. Council member, the Lathrop Village City Council. That's my brother. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Um, he been doing that for about, I think it's been about eight months now, something like that. Eight, eight nine months. Yeah. It's been a journey. But yeah, so we doing a lot of things. A lot of things coming up. 